Hey y'all, I'm Hope and today I'm doing the There a Tin But book tag, which was created by Katie Books and I will link his original down in the description down below so you can go check that one out. But this just looked like a lot of fun. I saw it a few days ago on Hillary from Mel Melted Books, her channel, um, and I thought this looked like a fun tag. So we're gonna do it. And we're just gonna dive into the first question because there's only six of them, so this should be relatively short and sweet. But the first question is, there are 10, but they're over 500 pages long. And I've chosen Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. I chose this in part because I had trouble finding something for this. I don't actually read as many books as I thought that are over 500 pages. But I also chose this because I think this one gets a bad rap for being scary. And I really don't think it is. What I will say is I think this is a book that you're going to enjoy if you like introspection. If you like stuff that's very much about like a specific character and their thought processes and how their, you know, their opinions shift over time, this is very much a book for you. If you don't like that, don't read it because you're not going to like it. This book is just very much about Raskolnikov who m commits a murder right off the bat. That's where the book opens. He commits a murder and the rest of the book is about his thoughts on this, kind of why he committed it, how it affects his relationships with other people. Um, there's kind of a cat and mouse element between him and a police detective who he believes increasingly uh, that this detective has kind of figured him out and knows all of it and is just waiting for him to confess. So there's kind of that element of it. There's a couple of other plot lines with like his sister is getting engaged and then there's this other creepy guy named Fedor Gailov who's like really charming and charismatic but also really creepy. So there's a lot of stuff like that but this is very much about Raskolnikov and what happens to him as a result of the murder that he commits. And I think this is a really interesting book if you like that kind of psychological stuff. Uh, also this is not as long as it looks. This is actually only about 550 pages. So I think that it is also not as long as it seems like it is. And I think that it's worth reading if you like psychological stuff. The next question is, there are 10, but they're a red flag. And I'm at this point realizing there's a lot of classics and older texts on this list. But anyway, I've chosen The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer because I just read this for a class. And I think this book is really interesting. There's a lot of very weird stories. If you've never read any, um, medieval literature. It's all like very weird. There's a lot of fantasy elements, a lot of strange things happening to people. There's talking chickens in one of these tales. There's like a guy and the woman he's having an affair with like tricking her husband and that's very funny. So there's a lot of very entertaining stuff in this, but there's also like a lot of misogyny and rape and anti-Semitism and some very dark themes. That, so I think it's a book that like is interesting and it's worth trying because it's not, it's also kind of like Crime and Punishment. I don't think it's as scary as it has a reputation as being. Um, at least my, my sense is there's a reputation that for this as being kind of intimidating or um, boring even. And I don't think that's really true, but I think it's something you really have to go into kind of knowing that there is going to be some kind of fucked up content and, and that's just a part of it. Um, so it, I think it's important to be reading critically, reading the Canterbury Tales, but I think that it is worth the time and energy to read it. The next question is, there are 10, but they're over 100 years old, and I've chosen The Duel by Anton Chekhov, which is one of my favorite pieces of Russian literature besides Crime and Punishment. Um, this one is a very basic story. It's about two guys, Levsky and Von Koren, who both live in the seaside town. They have very different philo philosophies on life, and Von Koren hates Levsky. He thinks that he is the reason that the town is just falling apart. It, everything is Levsky's fault. And so Van Koren challenges him to a duel. And this is about the fallout of that challenge. Um, I will say, go into this knowing that it's gonna be a while before you get to the duel. But I think this is a really fun book. It's very comedic for most of the book. And I think it also has a really unsettling and interesting ending that I still don't know how I feel about it yet. I missed a question. That was question number three or four, I mean. Um, I totally skipped question number two because I didn't look at the list. Um, but question number two is, there are 10, but they're on pre-order. And I had several for this. Uh, most of these are books from authors that I've read before and loved. So I have Rose House by Arcady Martine, which is a like murder mystery in an AI house that nobody should be able to enter. That sounds really fun. We have Who Who Drowned the World by Shelley Parker Chan, which is the sequel to She Who Became the Sun, which I am currently reading and absolutely loving. And then we have A Power Unbound, which is the end of the Last Binding trilogy by Freya Marsk. And the first book in that series is one of my favorites. So very excited for all of those. And then I also added The Death I Gave Him by M.X. Liu, which is a sci-fi Hamlet retelling that I have been um, 
eagerly anticipating since I saw the announcement on Twitter that it had been picked up by a publisher. So I'm really excited for that one. Hamlet is one of my favorite Shakespeare plays and I'm like really thrilled that uh, that's coming out this year finally because I've been looking forward to it. Back to question number five and uh, kind of gonna tie in actually. It's gonna tie in because this one is there are ten but you study this in school. And the, I actually chose two for this because I had two that I really like. And the first of them is Hamlet. I read this in my senior year of high school and I really enjoyed it. Of the Shakespeare plays I've read, which is not very many, granted, uh, but of the ones I read, Hamlet remains my favorite. And I think part of it was just the experience of reading this with my class. We had a lot of in-group jokes about this. Like, we just had a good time reading it and talking about it. And I think that that really um, contributed to my enjoyment of this. But I really love Hamlet and I'm excited to read that retelling of it. And then the other one I chose was Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, which I actually read in 2021 for a class in, um, it was an undergraduate class I was taking for, they're gonna bulk up my transcript uh, before I applied for the master's program I'm in. And this one is again medieval literature, so it's very weird. Um, this one is following Sir Gawain, who like at, I think it's Christmas or New Year's Eve, kind of the end of the year, he's at this big feast with the round table and everything and a giant green man comes in and challenges them to a game where he says basically somebody will fight me and whatever they do to me I will do to them in a year. And so Gawain goes and, and takes up the challenge and that's kind of where it starts. It's another one that just kind of veers off in completely different directions. It's very weird. And then the last question is, there are 10, but they leave with em leave you with emotional damage. And I've chosen The Silence of Bones by June Hur, which is like one of the only ones on this list that isn't a classic. But this one I read, I think last year or the year before. It's a YA mystery set in Korea in the 1800s. And it's following a young woman who's indentured to the police bureau and she gets involved with investigating the death of a noble woman at the same time that she's trying to figure out what happened to her brother who went missing many years ago. And this book is just so good. I love the protagonist of this. Her name is escaping me because it's been a couple of years. Um, oh, Sol? Sol? Sol. Um, so Sol is, she's curious and she's resourceful and she just gets in all of these situations because of that because the era that she's living in and the situation she's in she's kind of expected to like be obedient and quiet and everything and that's just not the kind of person she is and she ends up developing some really interesting relationships with some of the police that she's working with particularly the lead investigator on this particular crime and I just I love the character dynamics I love the friendships and the relationships in this and genuinely when I finished this I had to like shut it and just sit at my desk for a little bit because I was crying. I, I was just like sobbing when I finished this. The end of ending of this just totally ripped my heart out but like in a good way and I just love this book. I really need to read um, June Her's other books because I have her second and third books over here I think. These ones right here. I haven't read them yet because I'm scared because this one made me cry so hard. And um, I'm, I'm scared to pick up the other two, but I, I know they're gonna be fantastic because this was just brilliant and this was her debut and it was really impressive. But those are all of the questions and I thought this was a really fun one. It was one that kind of challenged me because some of these questions were hard for me to find something for off my shelves, but I thought it was fun to spend the time figuring it out. And I hope that a lot more people will do this tag. I'm not gonna tag anyone because I don't know who to tag for this and I don't know who hasn't already done it because I think it's been around for a little while, but I think this is a really fun one and if you, see this and you go, oh, I want to do that, you should do it and you should let me know because I want to watch it. So yeah, that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I hope you'll consider giving it a like, maybe even subscribing to see what comes next. I'm currently posting every Tuesday and Saturday, so there is more content coming soon, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.